Hi guys, Srikanth here. Welcome to SQLJunction.in. So today we are going to talk about DDL trigger. How I can create DDL trigger for my database, and what are the the <coughs> different uh, actions that different events I can track in DDL trigger. Okay, so let me start from the scratch. So just create one new fresh database. I'm giving this as a demo. So now the demo database has been created. So just click on the plus sign, it will be collapsed. Then just search for the programmability. Just click on the programmability. Then in that programmability, just search for the database trigger. Okay. Right click on it. There are two ways you can create the DDL trigger. The one way from the GUI, another way from the command, from the query, I can say. Yeah, new database. So this will be generated here. So it will just give us the syntax. I'm trying to make it as simple as so that you people won't be get confused. So this here it is asking the name of the trigger. I'm giving as a name of T A R G D D L. This is the name of my trigger then it is saying you can see the on database right now remember one thing if you write here on database so that this trigger will be for the database right but if you want to write a trigger on a server then then you have to replace with the server now we'll just focus on the database so we are creating the trigger on the database okay so then we have here we have to specify the actions so we have some actions here events I can say so basically right uh, I'm just doing for the table right now so ultra table maybe create table next one then drop table fine so if you'll see I'm creating one DDL trigger for three events if the table has been created if the table has been altered or if the table has been dropped then this trigger will raise right so just for understanding i'm just writing one simple message here print trigger raise just create it Spelling is wrong. Okay, fine. Okay, now this trigger, uh, this trigger is created. Now you can cross it. If I just come here on the folder and refresh it, you will see the trigger. Now the trigger has been created. So what will happen if I will perform any any one action? So I will get a message, message saying me that trigger is raised, right? So I'm just creating one simple trigger. Create just create test create table test ready comma int. Okay, just run it. Oh. Yeah, so there is one condition we have added here. Remove it. Begin. End. Test one. You will see here the message. The trigger race, right? You got the issue. You got the issue now. Now this is the one way that you can track any kind of operation. Now we have seen this is for table. You can do the same thing for the procedure. You can raise the detail table for procedure. Just you need to replace table with the procedure like this. And you also you can do same thing for the views. Then you can do the same thing for the functions, right? So you, if you have any kind of auditing kind of logic, let's say